Okay, we are troubleshooting our overheating engine problem here. I'm actually in my own vehicle, which is an old beater van that I use for hauling things around. Here's our temperature gauge. Uh, there's two reasons that I'm using this, doing this in, in a different vehicle now. Uh, firstly, I don't want to continually overheat somebody else's vehicle while I'm troubleshooting it, especially in this case where I was, I'm just I'm, I'm making a video. So I don't want to damage somebody else's vehicle. So here's what happens. And uh, I want to get across is our temperature gauge is running in the proper range. It's about halfway up here up by the H is our little red zone the part you never want your needle to go to and really you don't want your needle to get close to that really. So what you need to know here is that when this gauge gets up to a certain level a control circuit is going to kick in and it's going to operate our vehicle fan for the engine and the reason I want to be very specific to show this is that it can be misleading if you're troubleshooting a problem like this and you look at your fan and it's not uh, running well if your engine hasn't actually gotten to the uh, temperature to um, that that fan has to come on then you may you may misle be misled to believe that you're you have a, a problem with your fan not operating but in reality the temperature of the engine just hasn't reached the point where that fan has to operate. Okay, so now we're out looking under the engine here. Be, be very careful if you're ever in around uh, fans or anything like that. It's very dangerous. But uh, I'm just going to show you here. We know that our engine is already up to that temperature mid-range as we looked on that uh, on the gauge. So our fans are going to have to kick in here at some point. Right there. You can hear them. Hopefully you can see them. They're operating now, spinning there, cooling this engine down. I'm actually getting really hot because I'm stuck. They have my head stuck under here. So there, there our control circuit operated. Fans came on. Blew the engine around, cooling the radiator coolant and the engine, so that's uh, that's what I wanted to illustrate here. 